So let's get started solving challenge eight. The first step is to create a new Xcode project and we're gonna to go to iOS application, single view application, and I can give it a product name. We're gonna call this world map challenge solution. And I can go ahead and add a class prefix to CC as well as the iPhone device and press next. And I'm gonna initialize this with a Git repository so I can press create. And I'm going to go ahead and expand my Xcode project. And I'm going to be writing my code uh, inside of ccviewcontroller.h and m. But first, let's update our storyboard. So we're going to add a scroll view, which will allow us to scroll around our globe uh, onto our project. And we need to hook this scroll view up to our header file so that my controller is aware that there is a scroll view on my view. So I can hold down the Alt key and press on ccviewcontroller.h. And I'm going to make sure I have my scroll view selected, which I can confirm in my scene outline. And I'm going to control drag to my header file. And we're going to give it a connection type of outlet, and we can name this scroll view. And the type is going to be a UI scroll view, and its storage type is going to be strong, so we can press connect. And I'm also going to add a property for my image view, which I'm going to be putting on top of my scroll view, but I'm going to be creating this image view in code instead of dragging it to my storyboard. So let's do F property strong non-atomic. Notice that we don't add an IV outlet because it's not a pointer to a view object on my view, but I am going to add this view object dynamically in code. So we're going to call this UI image view and we're going to give it a variable name of uh, globe image view. So great. Now I can go ahead and go to my viewcontroller.m file and start setting this up. So we're gonna first give a value to our image view. So we can say view, And we're gonna be able to allocate and initialize some memory for this object. So we're gonna say UI image view because that's its class. And we're gonna allocate some memory. And we're gonna initialize it with an image. So where are we going to get this image from? Well, go ahead and download it. And I've already actually added it to my desktop already. So I'm just going to drag this into my supporting files. And we're going to destiny, copy items. And we're also going to make sure we have add to target selected. We can press finish. And now that I have my image in here, I can go ahead and type uh, UI image. So left bracket, UI image, image named. And we're going to use our worldmap.jpg. JPEG, and we're gonna go ahead and add a semicolon. So now we've created a UI image object uh, named uh, globe image view, and we allocated some memory and initialized it with an image, so we're gonna start off with our world map.jpg. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna update our scroll view's content size, or the size of our scroll view, um, to be the same size as our image view, our globe image view. So we're going to say is equal to self dot globe image view dot frame dot size. So now the content size or the total space our scroll view has to scroll over becomes much larger because our image view is going to be quite large. So the final thing we need to do is we need to actually add our image view, which is just currently an object we're holding in memory, onto our scroll view. So we can say self dot scroll view add sub view, and we can simply add our globe image view. So now we can go ahead and run our application, and we see that our large uh, map shows up on our screen, and we can scroll over it. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we want to be able to zoom into our current um, image. So in order to do that, I suggest that we need to conform to the US scroll view protocol and implement the required method, as well as setting up the zoom scale. So let's do one thing at a time. Let's first conform to the UI scroll view protocol. So we're going to go to ccviewcontroller.h, and after UI view controller, we're going to add an angle bracket. We're going to write UI scroll view delegate. So by adding this, we now get access to the UI scroll view delegate methods. Um, specifically, we're going to use the method uh, view for zooming and scroll view. So let's go back to ccviewcontroller.m and let's implement this method. 
and this is going to return a UI view and we're going to say view for zooming and scroll view and we're actually going to return our globe image view. So we also need to set up the delegate property of our scroll view so we can simply type self.scrollView.delegate is equal to self. Specifically I'm saying that let this view controller, the CC view controller.m file become the delegate of our scroll view or put in layman's terms, I want to register to listen for the events that the UI scroll view delegate will send out and specifically it'll be able to call the method view for zooming in scroll view specifically which view in my scroll view am I trying to zoom in on and let's return that image view, let's use the proper image view. And this would be the case if we have multiple images inside of our scroll view. So we also need to set up our maximum zoom scale and our minimum zoom scale. So let's say self.scrollView.maximum zoom scale is equal to 2.0 and we can also say self.scrollView.minimum zoom scale is equal to 0.5. And now let's go ahead and run our application again and let's try zooming holding the alt key we can drag and we can or we'll be able to zoom into our picture and we'll be able to navigate around it so great job that's how we solve challenge number eight